All right, so we do have a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising. A weekly general tarot reading, uh, February 24th to March 1st, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can make uh, or you can purchase a, a reading of your choice. Uh, and once you do so, uh, I'm going to follow you up with an email within the next 24 hours um, explaining you how the reading is going to take place depending on the service you choose. So going, uh, going into the spread straight away now, the first card which marks the topic for you Taurus throughout the week, that is to be the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the next one here which stands as the energies that are feeding and uh, supporting the situation. We do have the King of Cups third card we do have it is the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week that is to be the ace of swords followed by the next one which represents the uh, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week that is to be the queen of cups followed by the next one it is how people are going to look at you what kind of impression you're going to give into people that is to be the magician card and the last one it is the guidance very very important one in this reading and that is, wow, it is the eight of uh, ones. Uh, fantastic. So Taurus, you are going to enjoy attention, all right, in a specific person uh, that you are going to be amazed that that attention is given to you, right? It's like, you know, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, um, so a, a very big celebrity to give attention to me, for example, or a very big celebrity to give attention to you. And it doesn't stop there, all right? So what we do have here is the first two cards, the energies and the topic. And we do have a person as the topic and the energies which are feeding it. It is showing that this person is quite content with your performance. All right. That could be your boss that is very happy, very content how you are performing into that career. And they are preparing some sort of an offer, some sort of a proposition as well. All right. For it. Uh, that is for reason being that this throughout these energies, this person has a fixed eye upon you for a, a quite some time trying to deliberate or if you will trying to um, kind of like make up their mind is it worth investing in you either emotionally or materially or is it not worth it because uh, while they have a certain emotional attachment to what you do who you are all right and, and what kind of individual you are they also want their decision should they give you a chance or not being well found being well balanced and found decision in, in another words they don't want to make a or to do stupid things so uh when that's kind of like offer comes around you need to know that it is because you deserve it and not because you do kind of you look pretty for example or it is because you are funny or anything else it is because you deserve it because that that person saw something in you that they cannot see in anybody else now uh this uh, this thing itself this offer or a proposition itself is going to come by as a uh, unexpected source of help it is something that you really desperately needed if you will uh, it is it will be something that kind of unties your hand uh, and allows you to ex to explore the future and to become much more productive career wise you know happier relationship wise and etc etc so it will be a, a thing that it is worth celebrating of okay uh so the, what kind of an individual that is however and this is the topic itself knight of pentacles so this person which shoots you with an offer okay and that sees a big huge potential in you either career or relationship wise they are very uh how can i say it they are very practical type of people in the sense of that when they want something they know what why they want it they they have a pretty good idea you know how that thing uh, or what kind of a purpose that thing is going to serve them right or is going to serve in general and how they are to um, uh, unfold it moving forward into the future so this isn't uh, some sort of a proposition just for the shits and giggles all right this isn't something that it will be offered to you just to show you generosity or just to show how big and how big heart those people have they have a, a pretty, pretty clear vision and pretty clear um 
how can I say it, a plan how to even improve on it, all right? So that, that is just the beginning of a beautiful cooperation in between you and this, and this person. Now, one thing I wanna warn you with those cards, however, Taurus, it is that these people, they hate things being complicated, okay? They hate sophisticated endeavors. And for that reason, if there is something that it's kind of like uh, obstructing you of giving everything you got into this situation, uh, it's better for you to be quite elaborative and to strike a, a deal. And I wanna give you an example here, say that that is someone that finds you very attractive, they fall in love with you and they want to give you the whole world, but you are currently undergoing a, a divorce and it's a really, difficult divorce so that complicates things and that is something that can repose this person off and if you don't want to lose this person then you have to be extra elaborative how you see them what you plan to do and as well you gotta make give them a, a an assurances that there is no chance whatsoever that you are gonna bail off the divorce and you are gonna run back into your ex say okay so that kind of assurances this person will want for the um, giveaway that they are going to present you with. And this uh, leads us to the challenges that you will have to face, and those are the challenges of the Ace of Swords. So first of all, Ace of Swords as a challenge is showing a, a very strong spirit and kind of like a, sh not sharp, but also a strong mental abilities, meaning that you definitely are gonna have some things that are kind of making the things complicated, okay? And you have to place the accurate diagnosis upon what kind of a situation you're finding yourself at. And you need to make sure that this person here also see it the way you see it, okay? So that will be the major challenge that you need to face. And another thing about the Ace of Swords here, Taurus, it is that the whole situation, so you can take advantage of it, so you can make that cooperation with this person here, which is going to be the topic of your week, it will require some, how can I say it, a, a bit, a, I don't want to say drastic actions, all right, but more like with a back against the wall type of actions, you know, some kind of like bold actions and bold decisions, because the, the beginning of the Ace of Swords is always a, a difficult one. You have to cut some unnecessary, for example, expenses. You have to kind of like uh, do, uh, do a, a necessary purge and necessary banishment. It's kind of like cutting off the dead meat from the bone, right? So you, you can only be left with the healthy meat to consume. And that is that is going to be the challenge because you may find it a bit, uh, how can I say it, a bit difficult to kind of sever ties with those things that are holding you uh, in the uh, in the past. And that leads us to the next one here, which uh, stands for a uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. And you do have another person. Now this one's stands as a uh, emotional and spiritual uh, support that you are going to so much need throughout the week though because uh, the king the the queen of cups that is to be someone who loves you and, and it loves you very very much but this isn't the uh the romantic love all right that that could be the friendship unconditional love the mother uh the mother's love to her children you know uh the siblings love and etc etc and that person will be open to support you whatever you decide to do all right they're not gonna criticize you they're not gonna talk you shit they're, they're, they're not gonna make you feel bad that's the thing with the queen of uh, cups now why because this person knows you very well. They kind of like as well uh, have a complete understanding uh, of the plights that you are going through and of the difficulties that you are facing, the, the difficult decisions that you have to make throughout the week as well. And the, uh, the process of severing certain ties with your past so you can do that cooperation with the knight of pentacles type of individual and another thing about the queen of cups guys it is that these people are very very discreet in other words you can simply lay off your heart whatever bothers you you can talk about it you can scream and shout about it and you can rest be assured that your secrets are not going to be uh become are not gonna become a um how can i say it a on a on a public here or um, how can I, uh, a public awareness, okay? 
So rest be assured here with this uh, with this person that comes as a gift to you, your secrets are gonna stay a uh, safe and sound and uh, and secure. But above everything else, the uh, Queen of Cups is gonna give you a, a shoulder for you to lean and cry on whenever you do need it. Uh, the next one that we do have it is how people are seeing you, what kind of impression they do have in you, and most importantly why this card gives us an idea why that you are approached by that individual well it does depend what kind of approach this is either a business or either a, a romantic one but but in any case this person sees you as unpolished diamond and, and that is not even close to uh exaggerating the statement they ju just see you as a someone who has yet so much to do, so much to offer, so much to grow, and they want to be next to you as you are doing so, okay? So if I have to give you an, an example here, uh, that person approaches you in with a romantic interest, all right, and they see how much you can offer, they see that who you are in generally warms their heart. You don't have to be anybody else. They like you for what you are, and, they're, uh, and they can handle everything that you are as well, which is very rare to find these days, right? Uh, if that's about a business proposition, that person sees how exceptional what what exceptional skills you have and what and what kind of heights those exceptional skills can improve business can make business successful you know and in generally can contribute and become invaluable into a business environment but people in the grand scheme of things with the magician are going to see you as a someone who become more and more so uh, sovereign, all right? So person with a bigger and bigger personal sovereignty, person who becomes more and more confident, more and more determined to do something for themselves, and person who becomes more and more diplomatic when it comes to, you know, leading negotiations and tackling with people who does have a different ideas. And the last card that we do have for you guys, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering, and that will be the eight of wands here okay so it's not the ideal card i want to see as a guidance in this particular uh combination because um or in this particular follow-up because the eight of wands does not promise success right it's, it's just something that is very short-term based and uh, it also kind of breeds a uh, uh, risk taking as well but in that particular narrative and sense the eight of wands tells you to take the risk it is just you know you got to do what you got to do to make that cooperation happen because once again it looks really really promising and i mean it looks once in a lifetime kind of cooperation either career or either relationship wise but also uh the eight of wands urges you not to do stupid things and whatever decision you are standing in front of all right or whatever actions action you're contemplating taking uh you have to uh make that decision or, or, or perform that action with clear-headed mind because once again it's a lot is in stake here and the eight of wands uh, tells you that if you do a stupid thing okay you will have to pay the price for it and if you uh, and stupid thing i mean it is that uh, uh, kind of like missing a chance it's a stupid thing as well so you have to face the consequences of it having that chance never again so it's very important that you stay sharp this week again that is going to be a challenge with the ace of swords like said placing the accurate diagnosis upon uh, the situation and having huge mental strength so that means being sharp in mind being very logical and being capable to foresee what kind of a uh, how big potential you do have into that cooperation with this specific individual so that being said taurus it looks like an, an amazing thing is happening to you guys once you, oh, uh, a very exceptional person is about to embark your life if they haven't already it's just you haven't recognized them as such which could be another challenge though as a placing accurate diagnosis upon the situation maybe you haven't recognized that person is so substantial around you but the thing is that yeah an amazing thing thing is about to happen hopefully you don't miss it whatsoever and uh, once again if you are interested in a personal reading with me you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase a personal reading and upon the purchase within the next 24 hours I'm going to come back to you via email uh, giving you uh, details how your reading is going to take place and that being said hopefully we're going to see each other around as well until then
Bye.